very funny gal, Katie Clay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Let's give it up again for Caitlin. My name is Katie, and I'm really close with my mom. She's always wanted me to be a part of the important moments in her life. So when she gave birth to my brother, she wanted me in the delivery room. She said that it would be a beautiful experience. And it was. If you consider a bloody horror show and 20 years of therapy, a beautiful experience. So afterwards, she points down to the aftermath and goes, see Katie, this is what happens if you have <laughs> I lost my virginity a couple months ago. <laughs> it was my 30th birthday. And I purchased my lover at Castle Mega Store on sale. I named him Carlton. <laughs> because this is a story all about how I blew him up and kept him around. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept him. <laughs> Not that you'd be able to tell, because I know I probably give off a super white girl vibe, but I'm actually a quarter Nicaraguense. And no, I didn't call anyone a name, so you don't need to worry. But my grandmother, my paternal grandmother, is a quarter, or excuse me, she is from Nicaragua. And I've always called her Abuelita, and some of my fondest memories are of her. For instance, every winter she'd get all the women in the family together to make naca tamales. It's Nicaraguan tamales, not Mexican ones. <laughs> and it was one of her favorite family traditions. Now, naca tamales are a lot of work, and it's not because they're difficult to make, it's because you have to work really hard not to screw up, because if you do, you might leave with a severed finger. Abuelita doesn't like it when you mess up her tamales. So one time, a friend came over to help, and before I knew it, there was screaming and blood everywhere, and I look up and she's chasing her out of the house with a knife screaming, I told you these slices! <laughs> it was like I was watching Mommy Dearest and Faye Dunaway's yelling, no one hang ups! <laughs> Except it was over food, and I couldn't understand what she was saying. <laughs> she has a really strong accent, and it can be hard to understand what she's saying. Sometimes her words come out wrong, and you don't really know what she's talking about. So one time I'm over at room, and she goes, Katrina, I have a chocolate gun for you. <laughs> Um, abuelita, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Katrina is your favorite chocolate cat, you know, in the quiet icing? I make it for you all the time, it's delicious. It wasn't until I walked into the kitchen that I knew what she was talking about. There was a very large, handsome black man <laughs> eating my goddamn cake. <laughs> understanding her when she would say focus. I'd go over to her house sometimes and I would do my homework and I'd get distracted easily. So she'd yell at me, Katrina, you need to focus. <laughs> uh, Abuelita, I, I don't think you're supposed to say that. <laughs> Katrina, I can say whatever I want and you need to focus. You need to focus right now. <laughs> that I know what she was talking about. There was a very large, handsome black man <laughs> sitting next to her, and he was supposed to tutor me. <laughs> and my abuelita, she always made me feel very special. She used to tell me I was her favorite of all the grandchildren because I could speak Spanish, and they couldn't. Well, my heart was broken because recently I found out 
but she's a liar. She was talking shit about me to my cousins in Spanish. So I took my chocolate cup. 